it's Justine. Welcome to your muscle reset after your long ride today. You've used a lot of quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, calves. We're going to touch all of those areas in a way that blends a yin yoga approach with also some more passive restorative poses and uh, also maybe a little bit of flowing. So in terms of props, if you have a strap or a belt or a t-shirt or a towel, uh, you can grab that, but otherwise you don't need anything. So let's go to the mat. We'll see you soon. Let's start seated on our heels. We'll take the knees wide, big toes touching. If we lift up a little bit and tuck our seats under, so we're really lifting our pubic bones toward the face, then reset our buttocks on top of our heels. That's the position we want to get into. And then we're going to slowly just walk the hands back ever so slightly. We're going to work a little bit higher. The name of the game is to not go into our full range of motion, but maybe let's work at about 50 or 60% of it. So I'm not going to lay down on my back by any stretch. Even if I could, uh, I wouldn't. So, but feel it out for yourself. You want to just get into whatever the midpoint of your range might be. Going a little easier on ourselves. So let's maintain that tuck again. So inhale to lift your seat off your heels, retuck, and then set your buttocks back onto your heels. At the same time, let's really activate through the shins. So as we press down into the shins, we're starting to feel this really active stretch through the quads. And let's just drop into our breath. Just taking note of where the pattern of our breathing has been. Is it deep? Is it shallow? Is it dominant in the upper half of the chest or is it dominant in the lower half of the chest? Let's see if we can recalibrate the breath so it's this even, full, nourishing breath in and out through the nostrils. Good, so let's just inhale, press and lift the buttocks off the heels and then exhale, retuck and place them down on the heels again and really driving the shins down for five, four, three, two, one, press up and lift. Inhale, find some spaciousness, exhale, tuck and set the legs down, driving them down for five, four, three, two, one one press and lift creating a little bit more spaciousness across the chest inhale to tuck exhale to reset press down for five four three two and one and we're going to slowly and with as much balance from left to right as we can come up to seated so maintaining this position let's just close the knees in towards the center and on an inhale let's draw the arms up and over our heads take the arms in line with the ears let's interclasp the fingers you can either release the index or my personal preference is to just hug the roots of the fingers and just reach and lengthen the fingers as an extension of our wrists so keep that central axis extending and seeking new length deep breath in exhale let's offset the hips over to the left come into a nice side stretch to the right now i'm just pulling the roots of my left fingers inhale to lengthen and then exhale to explore this gravitational field downward thinking of a fountain a hose pointing straight up into the air and then just spraying off to the right. So up and over, deep breath in and then let's just start to rotate from side to side here. Keep that gentle tractioning of the roots of the left finger, the fingers 
and then exhale using our own steam press up through center let's take a rest with the hands inhale to lift the chest so I'm beaming the heart up to the sky pressing the the palm of the the base of the palms into the back of the skull for that added lift start to pull the chin in as you press the back of the head into the hands beaming the heart up and then exhale we're going to just completely fold forward keep the heart lifting we're going very passive with the arms just using the weight of the arms to traction inhale back to neutral let's take the arms up now let's reverse the cross to the non-dominant grip inhale to lengthen exhale to come up and over to the right a little side stretch here inhaling and exhaling trying to find your alignment through the spine so I'm thinking of finding my lumbar curve gently beaming the heart upward bringing my ears in line with this the shoulder the center of the shoulder and then start to rock forward and back just exploring the stretch in slightly different angles final breath exhale to come back to center let's place our hands behind our head second set inhale let's point the elbows up to the sky try to smooth and lengthen the skin of the triceps between armpit and elbow beaming the heart up and then start to push the back of the head into the hands hands push into the back of the head heart lifting the shoulder blades sinking in to lift the heart up and then exhale just reversing the action and then just gently turn your head side to side as you let it just dangle forward and then slowly return back to our plumb line stacking the ear over the shoulder shoulder over the hip good let's place our hands out in front let's walk those legs back finding a tabletop swinging the hips over to the right taking a deep breath into the left side exhale other side and then we'll curl the toes under setting up for a downward facing dog so let's walk those fingertips forward getting nice and long activating through the arms start to rotate the elbow creases up to the sky exhale lift the knees and then reach the hips up and back now if you find that you need a little bit more leverage just at this stage you can just grasp for the mat with the hands So you don't have to work as hard to hold the position if your mat is not sticky put a little bend in your knee and find your low back curve relax your head pedal your feet sway your hips and allow yourself to be very intuitive in this down dog Inhale, bring your gaze forward beyond the edge of your mat, across the floor. Raise the heels up. And then as you exhale, start to unfold, coming into a plank position. Inhale, lengthen out through the heels, radiate out through the crown of the head. Exhale, lower the knees, really fold the tail under. Open the heart towards the front of the room, or the wall in front of you. And exhale for five four 
three, two, one, and completely surrender to that, uncrossing the feet. Bring the big toes together, heels apart. Inhale, peel the chest up, lifting into a baby cobra. Exhale, lifting the legs. So as you really allow those heels to roll towards the outer edges of the mat, keep those big toes connected. And then exhale to softly lower the upper and lower body around the same pacing. Try it again, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, lift. Feel the spine starting to work. Keep zipping up your inner legs. Lengthen through the big toe mound and you'll feel that inseam of your thighs start to activate. Exhale to softly turn your gaze to the other side as you lower. Inhale. Exhale to lift. This time we're going to just take the hands out like a cactus. And now we're going to lift the elbows a little bit higher. So they're halfway between a V and what we call cactus pose often in yoga. So we're about here. Let's really ground through that. The, uh, actually, I'll do the left side first. Ground through the left hand, lengthening the armpit. And we're going to start to roll onto our left side. So just tent the fingers with the right hand here. And it's less about creating this, this twist in our back, but more about really gluing the armpit. I call this armpit glue. So really pressing into that front line of the shoulder. We're getting into the pecs here. Really activating through the palm. And then take that leg a little bit further back and just start to draw some lines. Just feel where your edge is in terms of control. You feel like you have a good sense of stability, safety. But maybe you're opening up new spaces in your spine as you come into this rotation, this axial rotation. You can bend at the knee and explore that, bending and straightening. Stay gluing that left armpit for three, two, and one. Let's slowly roll onto the tummy. Just take a minute, put that arm, tuck it into your side, and just notice you can slide back if you've drifted off your mat like I have. Just notice how the right side might feel relative to the other. Just take a moment on the other, looking the other way. And inhale, let's set up for the other side. This time we'll glue that right armpit down. Activate through the full forearm and palm. Rest our temples down and start to roll onto our right side. Just taking a moment to pause. Just allowing the body to feel safe so that it will start to open up those fibers for us. So actively stretching through the front of the arm. And then let's start to explore some range through our central axis as we bring this top leg forward and back. Maybe little circles. Just don't feel like it has to be all linear, just keeping it very organic. And then once you get to your full range that feels safe, you can start to incorporate the knee, bending and straightening, activating at the 
top of the extension of the leg. Stay pressing into that right palm. Exhale to slowly roll back. And just slowly bringing that right arm by your side, left arm by your side, palms facing up. You might feel some tingling. Let me switch your gaze to the other side. Good. Staying with your breath awareness. Taking your hands underneath your shoulder heads. Inhale to lift, peel the chest up. Exhale to bend the legs. Now, see if we can lift the right quad off of the mat. And then open that right arm and see if you can reach for that. And if that's not going to work, come up a little higher by pressing into the left forearm. And then see if you have that accessibility here. Now we're gonna kick the foot into the hand and now extend through the left leg. So I'm activating through that left, the top of the left foot by pressing it into the floor. You find that the left knee is lifted. Really scoop your tail, drag your pubic bone towards the front of the mat. Three, two, one. Now completely relax the leg and start to invite the heel of the right foot to your outer right hip. Now, if this feels like too much, you can just take it to a different degree. And if this doesn't feel like quite enough, you can start to flip the hands forward, pressing down. So all the points of contact that are touching the floor, let them nest in and lift you a little bit higher as an ensemble. That's it. And then we're going to slowly release, not just ricocheting out of something, but just taking time for the setup. And you might find that you just want to come to a neutral. I call this like an organic shalambasana, locust pose. So we're working on this inner line of the legs. We're working the mid-back muscles, the paraspinal muscles are working, but then we allow ourselves to almost pretend we're going for this very casual swim. <laughs> and then let's just reset the legs. Hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bending the knees. Now we're going to lift the left one. See how that feels. Maybe we open up. See if we can grab that foot. If not, let's give ourselves some more height. Pressing into the right forearm, opening that left shoulder until we can grab some part of that leg. The strap can also be a handy tool, should have mentioned. You can kick into the foot. Start to invite the knee towards the midline of the mat so we're not winging out the legs and compressing our low back. But staying on this plane, directly underneath the hip socket of the left leg, extending through the right, keep it activated. Nesting in, right palm, right forearm, lifting out of the shoulder, so not dumping into the joint, but lifting out of the joint. Hug that left knee in, kick the foot into the hand. Good, and then relax it down and finding whatever version coming into this nice quad stretch. All the different variations there. And one side can be quite different from the other day to day. Really hug the knee in and invite the heel to graze the outer left buttock. Three, 
two, and one. Just releasing the leg. Good. Floating the legs up. Circling the ankles. And then exhale, let's put your hands under the shoulder heads. Let's press up and through to tabletop. Let's take the big toes together, heels wide apart, and just take a wide-legged child's pose. Slowly slide forward, coming up to both hands. Inhale to take that left arm up, threading the needle. Just coming into a nice spinal twist here. And try to neutralize the pelvis. So as we lengthen the skin of the shoulder blade of that left side down onto the floor, Gazing over to the side wall, then we'll redirect the right hip to neutral. Just trying to create a parallel plane with our sacrum and the floor. Softening something in the jaw. Behind the eyes. Inhale to place that left hand back underneath the shoulder. Inhale to breathe that right arm up. And use your exhale to really fold that right shoulder blade down onto the mat. And then you can tent the fingers of the left hand to try to find our way back to a neutral pelvis. And there. Not to worry if it's not parallel to the floor, but this is, this is where we're headed. Soft breath in. You feel the rebound of the breath out. It's a reflex. Inhale to slide the hips back. Just freeing up the arms, coming back to a tabletop, and allowing a moment for barrel rolling, shifting of the pelvis, like a bell side to side. There's no right or wrong here. We're just kind of getting to know ourselves. Good. Now we'll find our way to a tabletop. On an inhale, bring that right leg straight back, left arm straight forward, finding the balance, welcoming any shakes. And notice if you extend through your right big toe mound and out through your left ring finger, do you feel a sense of activation through those two points? And then exhale, let's take that left arm down for some stability and just Transit that leg however we might, the right side, until we inchworm our way to the top of the mat, coming into a nice low lunge here. And either fingertips on the floor or just place your hands immediately to the top of the right thigh. We're just going to move forward and back, creating some circular movements through, creating some circular movements through the ankle joint and then let's just slide back coming to more of a right angle in this front leg place your hands on your hips inhale pull the navel up towards your jaw tucking your tail towards your back knee exhale releasing it so you're lengthening your belly flesh up and over this top thigh let's try that again inhale to fold the pubic bone underneath you 
Exhale to release it back. Inhale to tuck. Now we're going to hold the tuck, curl the left toes under, push up a little bit, hovering the knee. Inhale, let's take the arms up high in the sky. And then straighten up, coming into a crescent. So as we hold this tuck as much as possible, starting to generate some heat here. Now extend the arms behind you and release your pelvis to neutral. So you can release that tuck a little bit. Yeah, now we're going to reset the back foot to 45 degrees. See if you can straighten this and bend it. So bending and straightening through that front thigh. Good. Now inhale to come up. Exhale to turn a quarter turn to the left or to the right side of your mat, front corner of your mat. Inhale, find length. Exhale, let's lift the sitting bones towards the back wall and just find our way somewhere on the leg. So we're actively working, micro bending this knee, activating through the hamstring while we're inviting it for stretch. So actively stretching here for three, press the mat apart, two and one, and then slowly We'll place the fingertips on the mat, step back into a down dog. Inhale to lift the heels, moving through a vinyasa. So coming through plank, we'll take the knees down. Resting the chest, uncurl the toes. Inhale to lift, keeping this a little bit spontaneous. Exhale, hands underneath the shoulders to press up to all fours. Just resetting ourselves to a tabletop. Inhale to breathe. Left leg back, right arm forward. Reaching through the crown of the head. Reaching through the big toe mound of the back foot. And then we're gonna place that right hand down. Start to take the left leg around. Finding its way to the front of the mat. It doesn't have to be graceful. We're working towards grace. <laughs> and let's just explore this. Rolling through. Rolling through that ankle. Again, don't have to be touching the floor here. We can also just bring ourselves up. Balancing on the top of the left thigh. Good. We'll slide that heel back. Finding a right angle. Hands to the hips. Inhale. Tilting the pelvis under. Exhale, releasing it back. So think belly flesh up and over, extended leg. And again, inhale to tuck. Exhale, release back. And inhale, tucking, holding the tuck, curling those back toes under, lift. So really drawing the pubic bone upward towards the jaw, trying to soften everything through the upper body lengthening the neck, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Bring your arms up. Inhale. Exhale, maybe you straighten that back leg. Try to maintain a little bit of the tuck if you can. Ungripping the left toes. Okay, now we're gonna come into a runner's lunge, reaching forward and allow the sitting bones to lift a little. Try not to sit in this joint, but lift away from it. It's not about being in a deep lunge. Let's think of lifting out of your joints. Lengthening here. Three, two, one. Let's set this leg to 45 degrees. And make it wide. Gives you more stability. Good. And then just bending and straightening. Straightening. Really pressing out of that hip to come up. Arms float up. Deep breath in, exhale. Quarter turn. Lifting the sitting bones back as we come forward. Keep a bend in that front knee. 
And just find your way to some place on the outer left leg line, except the knee. Just to traction yourself a little bit as you twist. And then we'll slowly find, make our way to the floor. Step back into a down dog. Good. Now we're gonna come down to the knees and either scoot your legs to one side or come through a cross-legged position. And we're gonna lie down on our backs. I'm gonna just have this handy somewhere along the way. We'll just reset ourselves into the center of the mat, bend at the elbows, turning the palms towards the face. Inhale, let's press into the heels to send the hips up, mindful not to flatten the neck. Now start to activate through the upper arm to give you a little bit more heart lift towards your jaw. Keep pointing the direction of your gaze up to the ceiling, keeping your nose perpendicular with the floor. Exhale to slowly roll from the top of the spine all the way through. And just receive that rest for a minute. And one more inhale to press into the heels. Start to press into your triceps to lift the heart. Pressing the back of the head gently into the floor, not turning your head in the position. And then this time we're gonna lift the heels. Maybe we get a millimeter more space. And then think of even using your hands, move the skin across these frontal hip bones, pulling it upward towards your ribs. And you'll feel your buttocks, the skin of the buttocks move away towards your knees. And then try to maintain that height as you press your heels down into the floor. Finish really grounding down through your big toe mounds to feel that inner hem activating and then slowly rolling from the top of the spine down through the base until the sacrum lands and just receiving that for a minute. Let's reach for our straps. You can just use the simplest thing that can work and you can get fancier later. Um, if you already have a strap, you can make it as wide as possible. So let's take that right knee into the chest, double up our strap, the, the big loop of the strap, or just any part of the strap or belt or scarf or t-shirt, just across the ball of the foot or just underneath the ball of the foot. And then if you're working with the two loop method, you can bring your hands towards the, the face and then turn the palms to face in so that the wrists can be in a straight position. You don't have to grasp onto it, but they just sort of hang there in traction. So let's activate gently through this foot of the working leg and then extend through the left leg. So this isn't about getting the right leg high. This is more about just letting the femur head sink into the socket. So wherever you need to be, so the knee can be whatever degree of bend that it needs to be comfortable so that you're not feeling like you're way, way out here. So somewhere in this range is good. And then we're gonna turn the toes in, heel out, and then just thread the left hand and take that leg over to the right, and then we'll take that right arm to the outside. 
So we're starting to get into the peroneals, the outer calf, by allowing that right foot to sickle in and cross the midline. So just playing with that. And then allow it to keep transiting as things start to evolve. Just giving it some time and space along the way. And then we'll bring that leg back up to center, just resetting the pelvis. Bend the left foot, plant the sole of the foot on the floor. We're going to push the hips off and just send them off to the right side. And then let that leg come over towards your left side. And then if you want more, you can extend that left leg as if you were standing in the center of the room, but you're supine. And then you can just adjust your hand accordingly to be further away or closer to the foot, whatever is needed. Keep activated through that right leg. So think of a, it's staying quite neutral in its position. You don't have to be overly turned in anymore or turned out, but just, just right. Lick your lips, rubbing them together. Notice what happens in the interior of the mouth if you swallow a couple of times. Notice if the soft palate feels brighter. If it does, send that beam of light up through the crown of your head. And now go very passive in the position. We were working with some activation, now complete surrender. Just letting things slide. Your hand can be the only thing that maybe has a little bit of hold in it, just to keep your leg in position without effort. You feel free to take your gaze past your right fingertips or close your eyes. Noticing where the breath is in the body. And then redirecting the breath to those places that feel tight. Any constriction within the twist itself, send some breath there, create some new pockets of space. Inhale to turn your gaze up to the sky. Exhale to find your way back to a neutral position. Just resetting the pelvis, ungripping that leg, letting it float down. Just taking a short moment in a Shavasana, arms by the sides, feet long, and make some observations. Just experiencing maybe the newfound length that you may have cultivated on one side and how that relates to the other side we haven't done yet. And if you don't feel anything, that's good too. And then inhale to bend the knees. Exhale to feel the whole sole of the foot sink into the floor with just the weight of your own leg. And let's set up for the other side. Whether you're working with a big loop or a single, just a single ply strap or a t-shirt, just we'll find a nice nest across the sole of the foot Two loop method, hands go in. Try to separate the toes just gently so there's a sense of activation 
not force, just activation. And then really sink that left hip crease down so that it's meeting the right hip crease. And let the weight of the leg just, just feel like it's decompressing. And then we're going to start to extend to that right leg. Finding our way to a pigeon toed stance of the foot. So now I'm coming into inward rotation of my left hip. Let's take the right wrist or hand with strap and try this one. I'm going to take the thumb of your left hand, put it in the belly of the left hip crease and then just gently pull it inward and downward as you take the left leg across. It could be four, five, six inches. Notice where you feel a sense of stretch or sensation. Notice if it's too strong and then maybe back off a little. Maybe you don't feel anything and perhaps you need to come into that interior range a little bit more. And then just start to move that leg in space to find the next frontier of sensations. slowly bring the leg back up and bending the right foot let's lift the hips sending them off to the left and then just allow that leg to come over to the side and I'm going to keep wrapping until the length of my arm and the length of the strap meet the foot and then extend the underside leg if you want more. And then if you want to come into more of this twist, you could start to revolve your gaze towards the back hand. Staying with your breath. Sending the breath into those little moments, those little spaces of constriction. Exhale to soften everything. Just coming to a more passive version. and start to notice your holding patterns here. It takes a little while to surrender to this more passive version, doesn't it? And with every exhalation, let it be this uh, invitation to surrender. To receive help from the floor. Breathing. With every exhale, softening something. And inhaling to slowly come out. Making our way to neutral. We're going to take our straps. Put those aside for the moment. 
Just take a moment here in Supta Baddha Konasana, making two fists. You can place them underneath your thighs here or palms, whatever feels more supported. Just want to allow the inner groins to relax. We don't want them working hard in space, just hanging on. Blocks can be a very nice tool for this or some kind of higher density pillows. Just placing them underneath the thighs here. Breathing in for five, four, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale to bring the knees in towards center. Exhale to turn on to your right side. Slowly walking yourself up. Slide ourselves back onto the mat. Let's lift the buttock flesh so that we have a nice firm connection with our sitting bones, buckling the knees. And once you find a spot where you have the space to find your lumbar curve, and if that is not possible at this angle, you just raise the floor. So sit on a couple of pillows or sit on a book or a block. That will give you more height and therefore will have more space to tip forward and hinge at the hips. Exhale and start to push the heels into the mat and then pull the mat towards your hips for five, four, three, two, one, and then just softly surrender. Notice where that range of motion hits resistance. Come back out, press into the heels, come up. Start to drag the heels towards your hips for five, four, three, two, one, and completely surrender. Second set. Inhale to come up, lengthen through the spine as much as you can. Nesting the heels, start to pull them towards you. Five, four, three, two, one. Now from here, this is a longer hold in a very passive version. So you can redirect your hands to the insides of the feet, walk the elbows in, just so they're not strained too far away from you. Palms facing up, and I'll see you on the other side. Exhale to surrender. Notice if you feel any holding patterns across the backs of the knees. And we invite the weight of the head to remind you how to let go. 
Surrender the weight of your body. One breath at a time. Here for five more breaths. Inhale to slowly rise up. Exhale to bring the left heel towards the right groin. Setting up for a little Janu Shirshasan. We're going to keep this a balance of active stretching and surrender. So inhale, dig that right heel in. Pull it towards the hip for five, four, three, two, one. Now pressing the bent leg into the leg, we're going to surrender the leg and come into whatever version of this pose we feel like we need right now. So I like grabbing for the back of the head, lengthening the elbow up and over. And just think of the Achilles tendon and the skin on the back of the heel reaching out and radiating out through the base of your foot. All right, and then we'll slowly rotate belly button over the thigh. And we're going to just oscillate from side to side here. Coming over to the other side. And then making our way back to center. Without the hands, let's extend the other leg. Let's just tip forward, see how that's feeling with those new hamstrings we have. And switching sides. Start to dig in with that heel, scooching it towards the pelvis for five, four, three, two, one. So active through the back of the hamstring. And then we're gonna take our two fingers, scoop under that Achilles tendon, move the skin out. And this arm comes up. Maybe it stays along the way somewhere that feels really interesting. You can Leverage this leg by pressing it into the side of this leg and lengthening the skin out. Just finding whatever version of this is really needed, which is really nourishing for the body, for the tissues. Just coming back into these pleasure sensations and stretch. They don't have to be so, so deep. We can be working at higher versions of this and just working with breath. We're going to start to bring our navels up and over that extended leg and turning on our oscillator. <laughs> going from side to side. And coming around the other way. Pausing in those spaces that feel particularly like they're benefiting. <laughs> I love the pause. 
massages in those really juicy spots. I'm just enjoying that as we come up. I'll take the legs. Inhale to lift the chest, beaming it up towards the sky. Bring your gaze to the tip of your nose. Then exhale to roll down. Moving the skin of the calf towards the knee. Press the outer edges of the feet together as we move the big toe mounds up towards the ceiling. Now let's take the calf and press them into the forearms for five, four, three, two, one. Now surrender. Keeping those outer heel edges glued together, gently pressing together. And again, actively hugging the legs into the forearms. Five, four, three, two, one, and surrender. Really gluing. You can feel the difference when the that knife edge is pressing together from the top all the way to the bottom rim of the foot. And last one. Hug the knees in. Press for five, four, three, two, one, and completely surrender. Except the feet. Inhale to breathe the navel up over the hips, extending the legs out. Coming into a few moments of Shavasana. Arms by the side, palms up. Finding something comfortable enough to commit to a few breath rounds of complete stillness, just watching the impulses to move or fidget. And slowly begin to wiggle the fingers, the toes. Gesture your head from side to side. And lick your lips, rub them together, swallow, stretch. And we'll gently make our way up to a seat. Just keeping our nervous systems nice and quiet. Just taking a moment to experience the after effects of that practice. See you next time. <laughs>